Warning about a new scam where criminals steal your phone number and then steal your money. CBS News' Danielle Nottingham spoke to a victim who had her phone shut down and her checking account drained. Last month, Jen Nelson noticed she lost cell service on her phone. And I thought it was weird, but I didn't really worry about it. She got online through Wi Fi and received an email from her bank that her account balance was low. But when she tried to log on to her bank's site, her password did not work. The thought of it kicked in, and I was like, oh my God, somebody stole my passwords to my bank. Nelson, who suffers from a disability, got a hold of her bank only to find out her account had been drained of nearly $2,000. Now that has to be a shock when you wake up and you see you have $4.06 in your account. It was terrifying. Turns out she was the victim of what's being called a porting scam. This is identity theft. Bill Finelli from the Better Business Bureau says in these cases, criminals need to know some of your personal information. Email addresses, phone numbers, and even social security numbers can be found on the dark web. The con artist then contacts your cell phone provider. They call your carrier um, and convince them that they're you. The criminal, pretending to be you, has your phone service canceled. They then buy a new device from a different phone carrier, but keep your phone number. The next step, they go to your bank's website and they enter your username. For some banks, it's your email address. The con artist then requests a new password. The bank sends that new password request to your phone with a text. But since the criminal now has your phone number, it goes directly to them. With the new password, they can log on and drain your account. They know what your accounts are and they're ready to go right away. Finelli says this type of crime is rare, and many cell providers have already alerted their customers to create a unique PIN number so that a criminal cannot impersonate them. Nelson doesn't know how the hackers got her personal info. The good news is her bank restored all her stolen funds and her cell provider got her phone number back. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles.